Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is an introduction to a new series that I hope to be uh, pursuing. Uh, not model making per se, but it will come in useful, I think, for some people at least. Uh, this is the 30 Days Lost in Space uh, kit from uh, Inventor.io. Uh, this is a introduction to robotics and programming and circuitry and electronics and sort of an all-in-one thing that I saw advertised and have just received the kit. Uh, so I'm just going to show you what's in the kit and then I shall progress on with the first day. Uh, this video won't be the first day, this will just be the looking inside the box type video. Uh, as it tells you, start here uh, by going to inventor.io slash launch. Uh, that's just the, uh, the thing that, you know, comes inside the box. Uh, right, inside the box, the main thing you get is an Ardu Arduino, Ar Arduino, Ar Sardino, a board, um, a programming board that I haven't opened the packet of yet, which has got connectors and chips and things on it, as well as lots of jumpers where you can put other things. Uh, that's the main important part of the kit. Uh, also, we get uh, a load of jumper cables for the jumping off, uh, like ribbon cable type thing, also individual jumpers, uh, the, the cable for connecting it to the computer through USB and uh, the, the old printer cable thing, which is what's on the on the board, but I don't know. Um, a set of four seven second LEDs, obviously with a chip on board and connectors that obviously at some Somehow you program to make it show numbers. Yeah, uh, a breadboard. Now I'm aware of this. Uh, I have done electronics in school, but that was a long time ago. But I do remember using these. Basically, these are holes that these pins will connect into. Uh, and inside there, they're connected up. I don't remember exactly how they're connected. I think this is one row. This is one row. I think these are connected this way. But it might be that way. I'm sure it will show us in the in the guide itself. Uh, we have a small uh, display screen, uh, which is uh, apparently um, not an LED screen, but uh, uh, the better version of the LED. I can't remember how what it is. Oh, LED. That's the one. Uh, which is that? Uh, we have a variable potentiometer, which is a, a variable resistor. By turning that, you can increase and decrease the resistance, and that's measured through the pins, and that will do other things. Uh, we have what I believe is a speaker, which has got an LED attached to it. I think that's just a speaker for making beeps and noises. Uh, some switches, dip switch. Uh, these are just two-way switches, three of them mounted onto a single block. Uh, so you've got six pins on the back of that. Uh, again, can be wired up and made to do things. Uh, another board in a packet. Here we have uh, push buttons. A uh, collection of what, 16 push buttons. Which again, it knows which one you pressed, how long you hold it for, everything else. You can program it in various different ways. Uh, we have a uh, light sensor. I uh, can't remember the official name for it but yes again it it detects the amount of light that lands on it and changes its resistance or the voltage that it gives out or i don't remember exactly how it works but basically it knows when it's in light or not uh we have a collection of resistors of various different uh ohms that's the uh amount of resistance they have uh, they're written on them quite quite nicely uh, just about read that on there. There's uh, 100k, 100,000 ohms. Now, resistors, I do know from my past life, uh, the bands on there are in colours which tell you the resistance if you know what you're reading. There are codes. They're standardised across everywhere. Uh, so you can work out which resistor you've got, even if it's not coming off of a, a strip like that. Uh, we have what we've we got a single nut and uh, washer. Oh, that's obviously for the the uh, variable th um, resistor. I'll put them on there so they're not going to get lost. 
that's obviously so you can mount it onto the inside of something that's that uh, and we have a collection of um, 10 apparently random LEDs so we've got a couple of yellow a couple of blue one white maybe or I don't know what color that will end up uh, and a red and some green and a single one with three legs uh, which is a, a three color uh, depending on three legs or four legs four legs uh, depending on how you wire it up it lights up in different colors and you can make the colors change between them so that's the special one the others are all say the same but different colors so that is the pack um i'll show you a bit from the website it's got like online courses for this uh, so i'll show you some of that and then i'll see how i'm going to film and arrange things so you can see what you're going to be seeing on the um website and figure out how i'm going to do each day and try share it with you so uh yeah hopefully you'll enjoy watching some of this come together and maybe learn along with me um obviously you can purchase your own kit uh not affiliated or sponsored in any way but pop along to inventor.io uh, i'll put a link in the description anyway um and you can pick one of these up and I think if you're in the US, you can get it quite quickly. They come from the US. If you're elsewhere in the world, they don't do everywhere in the world, but they do the UK and Canada and lots of other places. Have a look and see. They might take you a little while to get it, but you can always watch these on, on repeat or later, or you won't need me if you've got the course because you've got the course online. So yes, I'll show you what's on the thing and come back in a moment. This is the main homepage uh, for Inventor. Io. Inventor is just inventor. It's not not inventor. It's inventor. Uh, so yes, obviously they're advertising their new thirty days lost in space sci-fi adventure kit. Uh, so you can pre you can order it there and start your training there. Uh, I can also start the training by going down to the courses and going down to the launch adventure kit. Uh, so this is where you start. Uh, actually, I didn't because I went to the wrong place. There we go. Uh, many different options, uh, the introductions and things. I won't show you that, but uh, it's got. Actually, I will. I'll briefly show you that, but I won't show you the the full video. Um, it shows you, let's say, a video of a few people you might recognise uh, talking about the kit itself and the introduction to it. Uh, how to be successful is basically saying train every day. Uh, so day one which I'll do properly when I actually do day one. But this is the format that it's going to be. Uh, they give you, obviously, a briefing. Uh, the year is 30XX, nearly a 1,000 years into the future. Uh, after contact with an extraterrestrial, extraterrestrial many years ago, Earth decided to join the ISA, the Intergalactic Space Association, form an alliance with neighbouring galaxies. Uh, today you're starting your first mission. Uh, so basically, you crash. So, uh, yeah. This is a story they've created to get you into the mood and to show you how they're going to do it. So let's have a look at the first bit of the video that they're going to do and make sure that I can do this how it's going to work for you. Ring, ring. Hello. I know phones are a thing in the past, given that it's space, but incoming transmission. Are you there? This is Alex. I'm from Adventure Corp. I'm, uh, I've been hired recently to help you guide you guys through the process of getting your hero board set up that it looks like you've recently opened and discovered um, and the process of getting uh, the computer set up as well as um, the board and today I'm just going to quickly show you guys the very first program of installing that LED um, on board to start blinking on and off um, to verify that your board has been programmed correctly. Now before we begin I should quickly mention um, what we'll need today. You have many, many things in the kit. We're going to simplify it a lot. You just need for right now, as you can see here, we have the hero board. Um, and currently it's not plugged into anything whatsoever. And All right, I'll stop it there. Um, but this is how I plan to uh, film things going forward. So going forward, this is how it should look. Uh, I'll have him doing his talky stuff up in the corner here. Uh, me doing my stuff down here and obviously talking as well because I can't help myself. Uh, so I hope you'll follow along and 
possibly as I say order up and do your own um i'll put the link across here and obviously in the channel description and things as well uh, and i'll see you soon first day of 30 days lost in space Thank you.